Breaking news. Releasing Namdi Kano is in Nigeria's interest. Afeni Fere or Hanese wants Tinibu. Hi guys, welcome back to the news. If you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, the leaders of the Southern and the Middle Belt Forum have condemned the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipov Namdikano, on treason charges by the Nigerian government. They've stated this in a communique issued recently at the end of its meeting in Abuja. The Nigeria's capital warned of the implication of Kano's continued detention on the peace and the security in the southwest region. In the meeting, chaired by Chief Edwin Clark, the group also condemned the setting up of the ethnic militia by the Miata Ala Karo Hori recently in Lafia, Nasawara State. He warned the president, Bola Tinibu's administration, not to condone the actions. And according to the group, condoling it could force other ethnic nationalities to establish their own militias. The Komike condemns the continued incarceration of Namdikano and its implication on peace and security in the southeast. The group called on President Bola Tinibu to ensure that the rule of law is allowed to prevail on this matter. And all court rulings on this matter are obeyed. We all know that the interests of Nigeria is to see to the release of Namdikano as the leadership of the Ohanes and Dibu has promised that they will work with him to restore peace in the region. The leaders condemned the state of insecurity across the country, lamenting the most recently plateau Ekiti, Kwara, Kogi, Benuel State, including the FCT, have become some of the most dangerous places to live in in Nigeria. And it is inconvincible that criminal groups can come in and out of our communities yet those who are responsible for safeguarding the communities cannot get into some hideout or anticipate their activities. It is quite unfortunate. The worsening state of insecurity again reinforces the call for the rejiggling of the whole security architecture of the country, in particular the urgent need for more federal government interest and encouragement towards ongoing state and community policing efforts around the country. Now, my country people, we all know that Ohane is in Dibo, which is being chaired by Chief Emmanuel Inwayamu, also uh, Chief Edwin Clark have been calling for the release of Mazi Namdikano. And we all know that the Nigerian government ought to do something fast about it to see to the release of Namdikano. It is quite, you know, fortunate that they keep on holding on to Namdikano. When we have a lot of problems, we are yet to deal with in this country. And Mazi Namdikano is one of those problems. If he should be released back to his people, then we will know that the Southeast, the insecurity in the Southeast will be curbed because Mazi Namdikano is the key to ending insecurity in the southeast but also there are so many other reasons the federal government ought to release mazinam dikano for national unity it would bring peace and unity and you know it would be the best in these circumstances since we are being faced by ethnic clashes here and there so my country people the afeni fere the ohanese in a combined comique, have warned Tinibu against the ethnic militia set up by the Headers Union, the Miati Alak uh, uh, Kari um, Hori recently in Lafia. They set up a militia which, according to them, would pose as a threat to Tinibu's administration, and have warned the president not to condone the actions of these guys. Now, Nigerians have reacted. The people holding him is far more worse than the person they are holding. No room for criminals in Nigeria. Nigeria must be won. Holding him is destroying Nigeria. 
Holding Biafra is destroying Nigeria. He said it and it is happening. The leaders ought to have sense by now. Namdikano said that Nigeria will go down if the right thing is not done. And everyone is seeing it now. Namdikano have not stopped the agitation. The Nigerian government is just mumus without direction. Nigeria has now become a laughing stock because of just few individuals. Enough is enough. They should free him. He, If he stands with one Nigeria, then... We, he should go. God bless Namazi Namdikano for always saying the truth. At this point, how can a country who commits crime against humanity be victorious in the AFCON? There are many unfolds and untold things that made Nigeria lose this AFCON uh, trophy due to hardship, due to insecurity, due to injustice and many more. Nigeria played well, but the gods are angry. Okay, guys. Here are reactions from Nigerians. For Nigerians, people have seen this country to be a lawless country, more like a zoological republic, whereby people do things and they get away with it without any implications. But yet, the release of Namdikano has been an insistent call in the Southeast, mostly by the Southeast leaders, Yohanneze. Now, Freni Ferrer has joined in the cause for the release of Namdi Kano, who has been in the detention of the DSS for a very long time. And with the rulings of the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal, I beg your pardon, the Nigerian government are yet to grant him freedom. The fact that they have discharged and acquitted him, but yet they continue keeping him in prison. Now, how does this benefits the Nigerian government. I don't see any way or how it benefits this government by keeping Mazen Amdikano in the custody of the DSS. Yet, it creates more problems to them. And they are quite aware of this, but yes, they chose to be ignorant of these facts and they continue holding him. And the Supreme Court is not even helping matters because they keep on postponing and adjoining the case. For how long? For how long? Will Mazin Namdikano's case be in the Supreme Court? For how long will they keep on adjoining this case? For how long will they prolong and procrastinate this issue? They should get down with it and give a final judgment. And let's hope and see if uh, President Bolad Metinibu's administration will certainly adhere to the rulings of the court. Since the former administration failed to give room or adhere, to the rulings of the Court of Appeal. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.